Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, guys? Welcome to I Am Future, a relaxing survival game set place in the post-apocalyptic future. We're going to be living on top of this roof in the middle of the city, fishing, farming, building, chilling. That seems what it's all about. If you guys are just joining us, click the sub button, hit the notification icon, make sure it's set to always. And of course, if you could leave a like on the video. I'm curious, what's the next survival game you guys are looking forward to? Is it this? Is it one coming up? Let me know with a comment down below. We're going to start with new game. Boop. Oh, look how cute he is. The game is in early access. Development is ongoing. Some content may be unavailable. The game may not include, uh, yep, we're used to that. Get him. Oh, the poor worm. I didn't know he was going to have eyes. What the? Warning. Hibernation aborted. Oh. Your total hibernation time was six years, six months, five days. Welcome to Eden, your new home. Wait, so did the world kind of fix itself and then they set up I have like no idea where the hell I am. Oh. But damn, this place is gorgeous. <laughs> so they like hibernated a bunch of humans and then woke them up when the planet was ready to live on. And that's who we are. Wow. I finally got some decent sleep. Where am I? What the heck happened here? I don't remember ever being here before. Although when I think about it, I don't really much at all. Gaps in the memory are Carmen after hypersleep, but forgetting her own name? I really stewed in that pod for a long, long time. Ow, my head. We were partying last night. Where did all the guests go? Should I go look for them? Hey, anyone alive? I don't think they are. Okay, we can zoom in and out. I'm seeing. Okay, we got a whole bunch of... We need a cybernetic saw of some kind. New task. Clear the way and get out. Okay. That's pretty convenient. I like the cute little notebook. Examine the rocket ship. New item acquired. That didn't do nothing for me. And then we can rotate the screen with Q and E so we can kind of look around the corners and stuff. It looks like it's hanging from this tree right here. Give me that. Uh -huh. Well, cross my cable. Someone turned this cybernetic hand into a back scratcher. What a sacrilege. Hey, hey, it's just my size and the colors match perfectly. So what does this mean? Someone went through my stuff. Cybernetic hand allows you to carry large items and collect resources. The last ruler of Earth Federation. What the? Wore this now outdated model of prosthesis. Prothesis. Pro... pro huh. So coins feature an image that represent a harsh but fair authority. I hope there's not too much more reading because I'm not good at it. Okay, so we're just picking up stuff and dropping it. I see, I see. I can just dismantle some things. I'm going to just clean up a little bit around here. Can I open the box? Oh, wait. Oh, I can change my look? I'm kind of vibing with the hair already. A mustachio really would add to this, though. Let's do that. Some glasses and... Nope, we're staying just like that, but it's mustachio time. Perfect. I'm starving. Feels like I haven't eaten an eternity, and who knows? Maybe I haven't. True, it has been six years. Imagine waking up six years later and then having to survive, like, just with whatever you know. Well, look at that. Someone hit a whole working battery in here. Okay, so how big is our rooftop? Okay, wow. So I'm assuming just, like, with time, this is going to kind of turn into, like, um... Like a Stardew Valley style. I probably gonna, We're probably going to have some means of production. We're going to clear all this stuff out, have different areas for the farm. It looks like eventually you can unlock the, the area down here as well. This is going to be pretty cool. I got another metal sheet. I'm going to start uh, probably just keeping everything in one area just to, just to keep organizing as much as we humanly possibly can. Humanly possibly can, yes. There's an area up top there too. What is this fridge? Hello. A fridge on the roof, that's awesome. It just needs a new battery. Fortunately, I happened to fish one out of the junk heap earlier. Man, I'm really destined to talk to inanimate objects for all of eternity. You and me both, buddy. Alrighty then, let's wake you up and see what's inside. Rise and shine. Holy mackerel, his name's Earl. Earl the Fridge. I'm back in action, boss. I'll rise, sure, and shine. And if I had legs, I'd do some serious Whoa. tap dancing. Can you believe it? Never seen a talking fridge before? I get it. Being alone has me going crazy. I'm already starting to hallucinate. But wait, there's a better explanation. It's all because an evil witch put a curse on your castle. The witch turned all your servants into talking objects, and she turned you into <laughs> a monster. Bingo, that was sarcasm. So we live with a sarcastic fridge. So it's nighttime. And it looks like we got to clear away over here. 
there's a campfire there to set up as well. I can just pick up these plants and things. I found some food. We do have a food meter, bottom left corner, food and water. Uh, a bunch of seeds, some paper, some plastic, biomass, small storage is something we can craft. We have a library that explains materials, and it looks like this might be robot or automation or something like that in the future. I need to just take everything over here down. We don't have a simple hammer or a power drill yet, so we can't really sleep back here. There's a thing right there. I'm just going to pick up and dismantle, like, absolutely everything I can around in the area. What is this thing? What the heck is this thing over by the fissure? Some kind of military tech or a really complicated growing lamp. Looks like it's broken. I should take it apart as soon as I get the chance. Okay. Oh, what the hell? I lost HP? That's no bueno. Oh, like a bridge? Is this going to lead to other rooftops, maybe? The bridge leading to the next roof is broken. I wonder what's over there. Won't be able to fix the bridge quickly. It'll take some time, but slow and steady wins the race. Wow, I'm actually really excited to play this. This is wild. There's a lot going on. All right, we got another ladder here. There used to be a ladder that went to the roof. You should be able to find some planks to fix it. There's wood all around me. Okay. So we can fix that, and that's where we sleep. Okay, so it wasn't behind the fridge. It's like up and behind. Gotcha. All right, what's going on with the campfire? There's a note in the cooled ashes. Well, now I know someone lived or lives on this roof. I hope you won't mind. I build a new campfire. Disassemble something out of harm's way. Use the open construction menu. Select which structure you want to build, and then choose a spot for it in the world. Okay, so where do I want this? I'm thinking just like right here, because this is where everything's going to be pretty much. But I'm starting to get curious, how do I craft planks? So these are all our blueprints. These are all the tools that we're going to find and craft. Seems like there's upgrades to the hands, upgrades to the hammers, toy rocket, just like a full-blown encyclopedia. There's, there's an enemy menu. There's only one enemy, though. Open the construction panel. Okay, so we need to find wood. What is this thing? Is that the saw that we've been looking for? Oh, my God. We found the saw. Hell, yeah. So now we can actually break apart, like, a lot of these things in the area. So, like, this table right here, we can cut down for planks. Oh, and there's, like, some mini-games going on for that. And then we got to run it on back. Just going to cut down this table right here. We don't. Have, we can click it, or we can do W and E. That's cool. And, boop, campfire acquired. And I'm assuming this man right here, a.k.a. Friggy Boy... What is it? Earl. He's going to tell us how to cook stuff. Always dreamed of bringing uh, them to life. He was talking about his recipes. Speaking of food, did you find any night shroom? We can cook it. Oh, yeah, of course. I know the night shrooms are crazy poisonous, but I watched my old boss make baked mushrooms a lot. Once you eat them over a fire, they become edible. Heat them. Sorry. I'll try to become a chef. Can do. I'm just going to keep working on this ladder as well. I'm assuming we're going to have to sleep at some point. I'm going to worry about my food and water right now. So that is just straight biomass. It's going to give us one food. So just by hovering over it, it's going to tell us the amount of food that it's going to give us. I appreciate that. But it's starting to feel like we're already going to need a small storage. The thing is, there's a an awning right here that says storage. So I feel like that would be, like, you know, a good spot to store things. But for right now, maybe we just build the ladder and we put it up by our bed. And boop, ladder acquired. And we just go ahead and climb on up. There's some books and notes and things in the area that we can grab. And then our objective is to go to sleep, so screw it. And look at the area out here. Wow, this game's beautiful. And funnily enough, it's kind of got like these raft vibes to it. Like this might be someone that was living on top of a skyscraper. Imagine you just see a random raft go by. That'd be awesome. Go to sleep. Okay, I'm going sleepy time. I should have eaten and drank before I went to sleep, probably. And we wake up in the middle of the night starving so that gave me hp it seems like doesn't seem like there's water of any kind we're probably just gonna have to eat a whole bunch of food how do we light the campfire it has no fuel indicator can we use paper campfire has storage that's useful uh planks are required so let's cut down some trees There we go. Adding planks. Adding planks. Now let's go ahead and make some bright soup. That's going to give us 15 food. We can make coal as well. Filter water to make it drinkable. So there, no, there is water. But I bet we don't have to eat or drink. I just don't see any water meter down there. It fills your stomach while you wait for the food to be ready. 
What is this? A cutting board? An empty pot so you can actually do recipes? Flex your chef skills and choose the right ingredients to learn a new dish. Biomass. And... Mm, biomass. Okay, it won't let me. But that's cool. Is a cooking pot mechanic? Wow, I'm. this is promising, man. I'm excited to play this more. I hear something going, hee bee 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 Is that the fridge? Oh, there's a worm on you. Phew, you helped me out again, boss. Electrocytes are afraid of sunlight. During the day, you sleep inside the building, and at night, they crawl out to feed on your energy. Oof. Is that why we're sleeping off the ground? Probably. But we can't relax yet. Go over there to the spot I'm staring at with all of my might. Pull up all the weeds before they can spread across the whole roof. Oh. So during the night, there's some uh, some nasty icks that grow. Ow. I am taking damage for this, though. My inventory's full. Crap. Let's go put some stuff in the campfire. I'm actually just probably going to shovel some of this biomass. Just get my food to an adequate level. So we're finding biomass everywhere. But that goop, that goopy, sh goopy sloop right there, drops some things. Click to equip an item from the quick access panel. Oh, it's a weed killer. Ah, we don't have to pick it up and take damage with this. I see. Nice. Put a question mark on the ship. Another empty cry. Oh, it's a cryopod. Could there be someone else alive on the roof? Hope he still has his memory and his sanity. Huh. So I wonder, maybe we progress the game further and more people are going to wake up. And then maybe for the sake of awesomeness, they'll be able to like help us around our camp. That sounds like fun. I'm just like kind of actively cleaning up the whole area, just getting excess planks together. So when we need to build something new, there's plenty to go around. What is this thing right there? Some ick. Ink pigment. That was close enough. I'm all for preserving nature and stuff, but you little leech are getting squashed. Yoink. That's better. All the leeches have been eliminated. The stuff grows like wild. It's covered the whole roof overnight. I found it really strange how quickly these plants took over the city. I'll have to be careful when the sun goes down. Mmm. Okay, so now we're into, like, a new area. Once we killed the leech, that door popped up. And so what's in here? Can we break any of this stuff down yet? What's this here? It looks like a high-tech backpack. Yes, please. Oh, do we have inventory room now? Someone left a little backpack here. Oh, so it gave us two more hot slots. Is that what that is? Oh, when we press I, we expand our hot slot, and it looks like we can get an item that increases our inventory space as well. We have so many planks in the area. Uh, let's do a quick turnaround. It looks like it's just a bit of a hole there. I don't know if I can get through here yet. No, I can. Let's go ahead and pull out our weed spray. Just get rid of these guys. Thank you, before they spread or anything like that. All right, now we have a whole new little chunk of area, right? So I can dismantle this guy. I'd like to be able to get into my storage back there. We found some sodas. Nice. But there's a bucket and a button for like a... What is Is it house cleaning? Like a, a window cleaner bucket of some kind, right? Getting water. There are two ways you can collect water. In a bucket or an empty bottle. Okay. Empty bucket has been equipped. Fill with water. Is there water near me? I don't see water up here. So there's a whole other area back here. There's, that looks like a blueprint. It's like I'm exploring my own town that I'm eventually going to build up to be awesome and perfect. Okay, let's uh, let's unequip that and use the elevator. Oh, no. Imagine waking up six years later and taking an elevator that hasn't been maintenanced in six years. Look at this down here, though. Are we going to be able to build our own raft? We got some lures. Homemade, handmade rod required action menu so we can get salt water or fill a bottle of salt water. Use a campfire to desalinate the water. Can do. Can I not walk past? There we go. I see all these worms and things. It's another spot to get salt water, but the bucket's already full. Oh, the fishing rod's right here. We don't have the inventory room. Let's go drop off and come right back. I don't know about you guys, but I seriously enjoy a good fishing mechanic in a game. Any game with fishing in general, I really appreciate, but a good game with even better mechanics sounds nice. 
So it looks like we can get some items and cosmetics over here. So like an inventory cell we can get by catching some type of fish, right? Um, a simple hammer for five of these salads. So this seems like some upgrades and things. We can get a disco dancing shirt for some mushrooms. The fridge also has storage, which is nice. So we can put some stuff away in here. I won't need the weed spray until the morning. We have an empty bottle, some plastic, and some solvent. I think I'm going to grab... Do we have any more organics? I think I just threw some away. I should grab them out of here, right? The biomass. Because we might use that for fishing. And I'm going to bring a drinking water bottle. Gave me four food. I mean, that's not that bad. It's free. We just have to walk and get it. Let's go see the fishing. I, I really am curious. Here we go. Grab the fishing rod. Boop. You can only fish in certain designated areas. Use different kinds of bait or try fishing without it. Upgrade your fishing rod to catch different fish. Okay, so let's grab some bait over here. Um, okay, let's fish. Possible catch. There's an unknown catch. Fish without bait? No, no, no. Let's try some bait. So we can get this type of unknown catch with this bait. And with a spoon lure, we can get this type of fish. Let's just try the earthworm, because I don't know how it's going to function. Here we go. Throwing it in. Pug. And then I just click. Get ready. Oh, and then when the arrow hovers over it, I have to click as well. Yay. A large bug-eyed. They say these fish can't see very well, and I can't read very well either. Let's try this big old spoon lure and see what we catch. And we just got to click on the arrows. I'm assuming this is going to get, like, rapidly harder as time goes on. Another small bug-eyed. Not a bad couple of catches. Let's just use all our bait real quick. We might as well, right? I kind of enjoy that this is not, like, unnecessarily, like, long-winded. It's like you throw it in. You don't have to sit here and wait. Something, like, bites it right away. And then you just got to get these clicks. And like I said, based on the fish's size and what you're catching, maybe uh, we'll, we'll catch some crazy stuff, you know? And maybe it gets a little harder. Maybe we got to click a little faster. I want to see what kind of trash we're going to catch. A clam. Can't be used as bait. Oh, so that's a, the thing that we could have possibly caught. Ooh, a new type of fish with the clam. Don't mind if I do. So it's going to become a game of slowly trying to catch everything, find everything, and ew. Ew. But yeah, I'm getting some real Stardew vibes from this. Because I bet, right, I bet that that upgrade area that had, like, the t-shirt and the hammer next to the fridge is probably going to require some rare type of catch. And then you're going to be out there fishing, and there's probably going to be, like, a whole wiki of, like... A whole wiki of what you need to catch and where and things and, and whatnot. It's gonna it's gonna get pretty expansive. This is cool. And this is early access, man. I haven't played an early access title with what feels like this much content in a very long time. They could have just released this as a whole game, it feels like. New blueprint unlocked garden bed. Build a garden bed. New task. Okay, so let's just work on breaking down some more things. Organizing this new area we just unlocked. Looks like there's some old broken down garden beds over here. A couple of weird plants. I'm liking these chairs all over the place. Unpressurized injector required. What the? There's another cryopod right here. Tempered drill required. Would we drill it open and then someone would come out of it? That'd be pretty cool. And it looks like a lot of the progression of the areas is locked behind, like, tool upgrades. Let's see what this gate says. Start repairs. Okay, so it's another pair, like, the bridge and, like, the ladder, right? We need two transformers and a microchip. Not sure where we get those, but we will eventually find out. Okay, so what is this thing? Do we disassemble it? Is this just, like, a full-blown puzzle? Because it wants us to dissemble it. Do we have to, like... Oh, let's take off the bottom. Oh, whoa. We can't take the top off yet. Can't take the bottom. Oh, the screws. Wait a second. This is cool. Got to get all three of the screws. And then you get the pieces as you break it down. Oh, there's a microchip in it. That's what we need for the gate. 
we just go screw by screw. That looks like it, oh, there's just some plastic. I need like that inverter as well. Assembly complete, take all. This game's awesome. Right, we're gonna pick up our suitcase. Can I climb up the ladder holding the suitcase? No, I cannot. I guess that kind of stinks because I'd like to have like my change room up there with me, you feel me? So it looks like for a couple of the fish that I caught, right? How many did I? I got three of the large bug eye. If I get two more large bug eye, I need one microchip and then we can actually repair that gate over there already. Okay, so we have a list of to-do boxes. Repair the burnt out fuse box, build a bridge, build the bridge foundation, baked mushrooms. Oh, the cutting board. How does this work? Scaled hard tooth. It's going to give us fish fillets and fish oils. Or a chance at both of them. Take all. Nice. And then that's going to be some delicious food. An oil lubricant to speed up your work. You'll need to... You'll need it to make things. So you need the fish oil for making oil cans. So the filet itself, I bet we just throw into a cooking pot with, like... Just, we can't do a full-blown fish in there with it. So let's cut up one more fish. I'm going to do the small bug eyed because we need the we need those big bug eyed for the uh for the transformer that I was just talking about. And then let's try to cook two pieces of fish. Well, let us cook two of the same. It won't. Okay, biomass and fish. That doesn't look too good. <laughs> These ingredients don't go well together. You should try something else. Can I put I don't think I have anything to put in here to cook yet. I'm so sad. I wanted to cook. Let me cook. Oh, I have some blueberries in here. Okay, okay, okay. This definitely blueberries and fish can go together, right? Come on. Tell me blueberries and fish can go together. Strange substance with blueberries and fish? That seems yummy, my dude. Build a garden bed, build a workbench. Okay, well, let's do that. Workbench. Um, I guess we're just gonna keep everything in this little area here. So let's put the workbench, like, there on the edge. It said I needed metal have all of this sheet metal sources the roof mechanical press expeditions expeditions can we send people on expeditions for loot and it said root but i need an iron saw for all of that which i do not have so let's do a garden bed then <laughs> garden bed is just planks and fertilizer which we do indeed have where do we want to keep our farm Maybe just over here in this grassy area. Go ahead and throw one fertilizer on there. We have planks everywhere. Boop. All right, there we go. Put the plank on and planting. Equip the seed and then click on the garden bed to plant it. When the time comes, equip the bucket of desalinated water and then click on the garden bed to water it. Monitor the plant status to find out what it needs. Most plants only grow during the day, but mushrooms grow at night. Guard your plantings against nocturnal guests or your plants will be eaten. Watch out. Electrocytes can eat your crops. Fortunately, you can lure them away with the torch until morning comes. Well, I'm not going to plant anything because it's nighttime now. That just seems like a bad idea. But we're progressing. So I really need to figure out where to find this metal because that's probably going to give us a lot of options. Like a lot of options on uh, what we're doing next. Aha! So there's just these little pieces of sheet metal floating around. I thought they were just junk, but no, these are used for the crafting. Oop, there we go. We got ourselves the workbench. So what does the workbench do? A transformer, which is two electrical cables. So we can do light bulbs. I just found a couple of those. Metal pipes, solvent, electrical solutions, the stop weed spray for nighttime, more electrical cables, nails, empty bottles, spoon lures. So that's for fishing just by using plastic torches, parasite spray, more backpack space, fences, mechanical press, storage, plank storage, sprinkler blueprints, electrical poles. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <gasps> iron saw. We make iron saw right now. Boop. Nice. Not enough steel disc. So now we have the iron saw. I'm pretty sure the iron saw opens up to us breaking down you guessed it. Metal. Hell yeah. Wait, no, it's a hammer. Wait, is it? Yep, nope. Iron saw? Yes. So, yep. Awesome. So now we can actually get metal pieces. Absolutely no problem. Which progresses our game quite a bit more. 
Okay, so wait, this nutritious salad right here, that is part of the eco vending machine here. You need five of them for a simple hammer. Uh, okay, so that's what we're gonna need to grow. We need to grow lettuce and bright flowers, right? I actually found some lettuce right over here. Boop. But now I'm a bit curious how we make the lettuce into seeds, or are we just going to have to find lettuce seeds? We got one nutritious salad done that we cannot eat. We want to just start stacking these. And then we get five bug eyes and we get a lar uh, an, an inventory cell, which we definitely want to do, so we're not going to eat the bug eyes. I'm going to go ahead and make this coal. What does it use to make coal? Is it just creating coal out of the flames itself. Oh. Okay, so the durability of the fireplace or how much plank or uh, how much fuel it has turns it into coal. So let me go down to the water. Let's get some salt water real quick. Beep boop bop. Jump on down here. Action menu. Fill with salt water. Fill with salt water. And then using that coal that we just got. We can go ahead and make some fresh desalinated water that we can then drink for some extra food before we go to bed. But this saw opens up so many different areas that I definitely want to investigate. Minerals of trace elements, ideal for watering plants, but still too dirty to drink. And then we use this. And then we have drinking water bottles, which give us four food, which ain't bad just for running up and down and making some coal out of planks. Really not bad at all. And let me just double check what this gate needed one time. It needed a transformer and two... It needed two transformers, one microchip. Transformers are just made out of copper wire. We only have one electrical cable. Hmm. How do we make electrical cables? We can build one transformer right now. Why not, right? Electrical cables are just plastic and scrap metal. So let's do one, two. And then we do a transformer. Now we have two transformers. And then I put away a microchip elsewhere. Boop. Let's go open the door. Here we go. Construction panel. Boop, boop, boop. Done. Door opens. Where does this go? There's a guy here. Wait. A smart tower. This thing has so many functions. It be used to contact other survivors or send a drone on an expedition. <gasps> this is the expeditions that, w that, that the, the workbench was talking about. But someone tried to fix it and they only made it worse. I wonder if an unlucky expert is still in one piece. He doesn't look like he's in one piece. The explosion damaged my optical systems, and they are no longer analyze certain information. Oh, it's you, Master. So you woke up after all. Who are you, or what? Are you injured? What the heck is happening here? So many questions, my time is running out. I won't be able to answer them all. But I don't remember much and understand even less. Then choose your questions wisely. Who are you? Where are we? Who am I? Who are you? Oh, my name is simply a compilation of deleted digits. Another forgotten signal. I'm a path that is about to end. We androids have always done all kinds of work. I cared for you and guarded you, Master, and this garden when it was still a garden. The only thing I remember when I first started was how to kill various life forms and ten flowers. As last my strength faded, I tried to fix that smart tower and send out an SOS. And as you can see, I'm much better bodyguard than repairman. When the smart tower exploded, it almost took me out. Too much ionolit. Seems I let you down. Don't ask anything. I have to say I'm not in the mood for a long conversation. You are right, Master. I have let you down and my guilt will pass as I do. Perhaps you'll be able to take better care of this nice little spot than I could make it into something truly wonderful. But before I fall asleep, Master, I beg you, tell me. Do good androids go to heaven? No. <laughs> Yes, they do. Thank you, Master. Even if it turns out not to be true, it's an honor to serve you. Until we meet again. Doesn't seem like you know how to fix androids. I can't think of a single way to bring the poor guy back. Android used one of my tools. The injector fits like a glove. Now we have an injector. I saw a few things. 
allows you to gather liquid resources, but requires an empty bottle. This injector is attached to an android's arm and filled with ionolite, a substance discovered by scientists on an expedition to the second moon. Ionolite became humanity's driving force and primary resource, but also led to its demise. We can just dismantle him? Oh, poor guy, but we got a memory module off of it. I don't know what that does. But there's like a whole bunch of things to extract liquid from. I think this is the expedition service. We can extract liquid from this weird little plant thing going on here. There's another gate. There's a weird circle. It's the morning. There's so much going on. I don't know what to focus on. But that's where we are going to wrap up episode one of I Am Future. We're definitely going to be playing more of this, but please let me know down below what your favorite part of it was today. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here, and of course, I will see you beautiful paper tomorrow.